to the to notarize a couple things or one thing. Ready? Hold the meaning of water. Give John. You ready, John? Yeah. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. don't have any scheduled speakers, so let's go to the meeting minutes from May 10th. This reflects Brian's request to changes. Do that you that read those. Go ahead. Accept the minutes of the I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Treasurer's not here yet, so we'll do the tax collection. Diana? Is the treasurer coming? I didn't hear from her. Which means? So this isn't legal then? <laughs> no, that's, that's still legal. Nice try. I need a notary tonight. I left her an email telling her, you know, to bring her stuff, but... Maybe she doesn't come, I'll call Jessica and ask her to come over, okay? Okay. So you want me to talk now, or do you want me to wait till then? You, if you want to wait for a notary, you can wait, or you can talk without a notary. I can talk, but... Okay. I got a few things. First of all, I have a couple of abatements that I want signed. Um, we have run out of the, uh, pretty much run out of the abatement forms in that book that we had, the Lynn triplicate. Mm -hmm. uh, so I thought what I'd do is start right off this year. There was only a couple, actually only one left. Um, I made my own like I have with the other things, if it's, if it's okay with you guys. Uh, one abatement is for West River Road LLC for the first issue of 2013. Uh, the reason I've abated it is because timing is such that they were part of the warrant for 2000 and, um, and 16, first issue, because it's falling in the middle of the deeding of that property. Um, I think the last thing we heard was there was some confusion on the deeding. That's right. The deeding, the deed was some, um, had not been read properly basically. And uh, it was not under new ownership. It was still under West, West River Road LLC. So consequently, we had a uh, we had a we were going to delay deeding until we got that straightened out. Since that was straightened out in no uncertain terms, uh, including a call from the fellow who I thought was the new owner, um, 
I have done deeding on that piece of property. And that's what I need a notary for. Because we need to all sign that in front of the notary. So I have that one warrant. It will make it a little bit of a pain in the neck for us because we all have to sign it twice doing it that way and then I will cut that in two and there'll be half for you for your files, half for me for my files. That's hmm? And I'll keep yeah. track. We only have three or four of them. Yeah, I'm serious. So order one of those, another one of those books at the cost that they charge us for it. Yeah, you to me, it seemed like we could do it this way if mm -hmm. it was okay with you guys. So you would abate it for 140. Yes, because everything else is going to is is off my books already okay. when I did the deed. But they were taken off the books. But it was still until the deed comes down to the assessing department, it won't be changed on hers. Okay. Hence, that's why the pay the. Um, she, he was, they, whatever they are, was still part of the warrant for that. Good. So there's that one that needs signing by you guys. The other one that I have no, is wait for yep, yep, yep. We'll the wait. first issue of the um, Frank Wigan Estate of George Wigan. That's the cemetery that needs to be done. That's the second one. <laughs> The third one that we always do is Salmonville Water District, but we only do that once a year and in turn have to um, abate some of that. So, the other thing I have... Which uh, on this Wiggins property, we met with Mr. Wigan. Did he give you a copy of that letter? From that I believe there's one in the file. You'd have to ask Jessica, but I believe there's one of everything in the file. And I think that you guys agreed um, you didn't want to um, take it off the rolls completely. We said we do it every year. You said you do it every year. But do you want to continue doing it? Every or year. Rather? Uh, well, twice a year, actually, because of each bill. That's the one that we have the letter from, mm -hmm. from, Jim. from an earlier selection. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Abating it forever? Abating forever, yeah. I don't know if we have the letter. I think they showed it to us. I'm wondering, wondering if we have a copy of it. I'm sure we probably have a copy of it, and I'm sure if we do not have a copy of it, you could easily get one from him because they're very... We'll check with Jessica, see if it's in the map and lot. That's where it'd be filed, map and lot. Then we can make a decision whether we want to document that forever. I, I just texted Jessica and said, check back in like 10 minutes and the was on hand to come down with her notary stuff. And this is the warrant that we need signed, but it needs to be signed with the notary for all you guys and myself when we get a notary here. After it's signed, I will, and has a seal and everything on it from the notary, I will make copies and then we have to get the original up to the Registry of Deeds to file it. Okay, so that's this is the chunk of land up the road? Correct, yes. yeah. Woody or whatever. Yeah. Okay, that's got to be notarized. We'll save all those. Um, the tax bills are... I would have been sent out today, but apparently we're waiting for something. Yes. The magnets, right? Yes. Do we have any idea when those are going to be coming? Yes. They're due in Friday, the 27th. Because I have to... My drop-dead date as far as sending these bills out is, the, uh, is next Tuesday. They're due this Friday. Hmm? They're due this Friday. Because I can't. The post office frowns very heavily on getting them on Friday to go out with the mail on Saturday. Because you've got a holiday weekend. And we have a holiday weekend Monday. Oh well. Oh, so, oh well. Oh. I can either. We can take. I'll take. I'll take them down if you'd like. Enemies. I'll be glad to take them well, to the post know, office. Well, you know, the drop dead date is Tuesday. The main reason that I um, will say I'd rather wait till Tuesday is because you do have more reliable delivery here in town for most of the people in town on Tuesday. Okay. Yes, we've ordered. Saturdays are, are usually 
delivered by less experienced people. Yep. We got a phone call along those lines from, from Brad. Uh, seven, we, we were going to pay 120 for 500 magnets, or 130 for 750, or 140 for 1,000. So we went 1,000 for 140. The other tilt was we couldn't get the seal converted to our green, so it'll, everything's going to be black and white. Okay. We struggled to get green, but we couldn't get green. So the magnet should be in Friday, and we'll hope you stuff them if you like on Saturday because we're here Saturday. We have office hours Saturday morning. So if you need some help okay. stuffing, we can stuff magnets. I have to stuff and seal. Okay. At least I'm through with all the envelopes that we had to lick with back with the last one. Rose is happy. Yes. <laughs> um, the other thing that I think might have been mentioned before, or if not, there has been um, legislation passed, signed by the governor, to reduce the um, penalty on people who purchase their property back. Do you guys know all about that, or do you want me to tell you? You should tell us, please. Okay, what's happening is they reduce the amount of penalty from 15% of fair market value to 10% of fair market value. And on any properties that are um, principal residents, they've eliminated it completely. This is the pedal penalty? If they purchase it back within the three years. The property that the town has taken for not payment of taxes? That, yes, and any other property that, that would fall in that category, which we really don't have any. It's just changing the law, and uh, we just all need to be aware of it. We, we don't plan on ever having to take a principal residence from anybody if that happens. So in there's, the no, there's no fee whatsoever? If it's a principal residence. You know, interest or anything that there is re Oh, there's definitely interest. There's not the 10% yeah, penalty. Right. penalty is not applied. <laughs> interest costs and any other added expense would still be charged. Okay. It's just that added penalty that was 15% and is now been lowered to 10%. Okay? And do you want these signed now or? Are you going to stay or should we? I can stay. Or would you like to leave? We can do what you're no, doing. Okay. Sorry. All right. Let's do the administrative assistant and give Mary Lou a chance to settle in. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm going to So I had a call day one uh, from Susie Warren for the uh, craft fair really? that typically is in November. <coughs> they want to do that in December this year on the 3rd, it's a Saturday. So I put that on the calendar. They are looking for some charity ideas. Oh. Do you have any <coughs> thoughts about that? Um, I think they contribute to the townhouse. Okay, so. I know they really like supporting the Scholastic. Excuse me. Thank you. Um, the Scholastic thing, we can do that. I, I believe we can do that. They still got the other funds, so okay. we can do that. Okay, we'll see. We, we took the town money back out of that fund. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's fine. okay, I'll get in touch with her tomorrow and let her know that. Um, as a follow-up to what was discussed last meeting about Fairpoint and getting a message set up on our system, I did call them and that feature has now been added. So it's capable of accepting that message now. So do we want to get some verbiage together and... Do you want to script something up and just email to us? And we'll just... Okay. I'm sure it's going to be fine. It's not like you're splitting the atom. It's like, you know. So if you want to script something up and then we'll have you do it. For anything, they call you. <laughs> now we were going to change the web page, the home page. 
And we've got a proposal, I think. Yeah, and I have a couple copies here. I mean, the message is going to say something to the effect check the website for hours. Mm -hmm. So I made two, two versions. They're almost the same. make sure that when we set up the message on the phone system saying go to the town website to find out when we're open that it was easy for people to find out when we're open so we originally had on our home page of the website a, a blurb about the history of Brookfield and then some other stuff below the right hand side had news and, and uh, calendar and the left hand side had other links uh, I moved that blurb about the history of Brookfield lower down the page and put on top of the page um, a listing of by day of the week when we would be open and which office is open. Uh, one of the versions that I gave you just shows part of the blurb on the history, the other one shows the full. Also, by doing this, I thought we have the New Hampshire RX card. We have other, maybe, links that we'd like to make available to people easily. So one of the versions I showed, those, 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 uh, Icon links. yeah. Um, I also, down at the bottom of the page, we used to have this, where do I go for, I moved it to the left. We can tweak this a little bit, it's not that hard. Well, most of it's not that hard. <laughs> Rob, one thing that I, I didn't realize looking at this that Monday is related to Virginia. I just assumed this was a list, a list of all the town officials. Am I looking at it very quickly? Ah. If I were the public looking at it, I don't know. But I just thought, oh, well, this is a list of who the people are. They're well, not that, attached that, to it the, says our office hours says, are. Yeah, it says our office hours are. So I'm going to assume, okay, this is big. But I, I think we should tell them which office is open. Yeah. Yeah, so they know which one. So they don't come in on Wednesday and expect Virginia. Yeah, right. that's... Right. The other one I would, would think that we need to put something, please check ahead to make sure hours weren't changed or switched or I don't know how you word that. Well, we would be responsible for making sure this is up to date. When we change office hours, we have to change this right away. Rather than having somebody have to call or look. This is going to be where we point people if they call, call the phone and there's no one here. This is where they're going to go. So, this so if I right. print this off today and next week they change the hours. Okay. I'm not trying to post trouble. I'm just trying to be. A website isn't meant to be printed off and saved somewhere. You're supposed to go to it when you want to <laughs> see things. <laughs> I no, don't know if people do that. I don't. So. How would you? All office hours. Sorry, Bill. <laughs> no, that's the way I would do it. I'd print it and put it in a file and, and say it was a real estate agent or something like that. And we'll look at my Brookfield file. That's what it says. So I, it's just me. Go to hit a hall you wait for ways to pay. Ah, computer. So you're suggesting back to. It's okay, Bill. I'm with you. Thank you. I would too. <laughs> no, there's an age thing here or what that gets into this. I mean, I could put something as of a certain date, but still, if you print it out, it's still going to be wrong <laughs> at some point in time. See how it goes. I guess somehow it always be changed. How do we. Bill's point about Monday is town clerk time. Is that clear? Is that clear that Mondays are town clerk? Monday and Tuesday is the town clerk? Or should we put uh, My only suggestion is, and I think this this works other than if you print it out, <laughs> is I, I think I would try to grid it so you can yep. see who's, that was, yep. all of you, that, that was my only thing. I was like, oh, well, does this mean these are the days that all the offices are open? Or I would, yep. you know what I'm saying? And that would solve That's exactly, the yep. issues that Bill had, the other issue that Bill had. 
The only other thing I noticed was if <laughs> if you're putting this in a block, I almost would put our 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 hours are in that same block so that it was. Mm. I actually liked it better with the with dividing it. lines instead of the box, but that's yes. that's which whichever way you guys. How about if the names are on the left? Does that make a difference? No, you got another day first. I think. Yeah, I think you'd want another day first. Like I can also, you know, put a little more space in between these days, hmm. so that either yeah, either way that would work. Just yeah. so you can differentiate. Yeah, it's kind of tight. What would you what would your thoughts be on adding um, email addresses to this, rather than if someone wants to contact someone on this list rather than digging to them further? Yeah. My only, uh, the, I thought of that and I was going to ask that question is. Is like Virginia's name highlights you if you clicked on it, it would hyperlink right to actually the uh, position is okay rather than the name. Yeah, so if you, you click on town clerk, it's going to take you to town clerk's page. Yeah, that one's page or email page, page, and then the email is on that page. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's a double click. Okay, um, I could put you know the the position is gets you to a page, and the name gets you to an email. I could but even that. if you scroll on it's highlighted, it's typically a link. You know, it's a hyperlink. Yeah. So I think it's fine. I just would you make it too busy. If you don't things gonna get lost. Diane, you had a comment. I did. Um, so I, I think this is a great improvement. I guess my brain works a little differently because if I need, if I have business with the town. I don't want to look through the days first. I want to look for the person I'm going to do business with. And so I would have organized this, because there's only six positions here. Um, I would have had the position and then the listings of the days and times for that position. Because I don't care, unless I am coming here to get something, in which case I probably know who's going to be here to meet me. Um, I don't really care when the building is open. I'm more I'm more interested in when I can see so and so whoever or the, the role for whom I they can help me. And so I would suggest having on the left the position and organize it that way. That's just me. That's your point. That's my point. Maybe I redeem myself a little bit. <laughs> It's not difficult to do. Okay, why don't, why don't you? I'd be okay with letting them make a decision which works best for them, what looks yeah, better. I'm good with that. But this is the idea. This yes. is the general yes. idea. And any aesthetic changes. And, and then stuff. we'll get the administrator, Lori, to put together a blur so our people, well, it's going to work. Because you're cool. If no one picks up, you're going to get a response from the, from the telephone system now saying, check the website for office hours. The office is currently. Closed. Can have a pick up at the five rings? Is that what we do? Mm, I don't think so. Well, we may have to set that. that right. Well, that's why I was saying because we have to set it. Well, have to set set it. I would do five rings in this. Well, that's a lot. Okay, then four. Uh, that's why I'm throwing the number up there. Two, really it's four. <laughs> four, whatever. Well, okay, we'll work out that. Patient. But the message is we're going to point people to the web page to find out when we're open and that we're not taking messages online. So you got to pull back. Okay, we'll look at specific details. What about the hot links at the bottom? Do you like those? Are they too much advertising? No, I, I like that. That's what most town websites do when they have all those links all around the building. They permanently. Mm -hmm. I can't get it in the right or left columns. Oh, that's what I said. That's good. Yeah, I wanted it in the right or the left, but I just can't do it. I think it works fine. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do then is put the positions and names on the left side, uh, do something to separate these lines a little bit, either either with extra white spaces or with dashed lines or something like that, and uh, have it ready for when we are ready to turn it on. Okay. Unless you want to review it one more time. I'm good, I trust you. If we need to modify, we can always just say Thank you. I'll go home and rip up all my copies. Thank you. <laughs> Get it right there. You get it right there, fella. You, you go online, you look at it. <laughs> Anything else, Lori? Um, yes. Senator Kelly Ayotte's office, a representative from her office, will be here on Tuesday, May 31st. Oh, first, is it? 
Or the 31st. Yeah, 31st. the 31st. Yeah. From 12 noon to 1 p.m. here. If anyone wants to come in with any questions. Comments. Comments. Feedback. <laughs> so I think that's it for me. Okay. Can you post on the website that assessing will not be open on a Friday? Yes. I print out one minute. That's why you don't want to print it. It's wrong as soon as you print it. It's all wrong. <laughs> Do you want to do that? Do you want those sirens? Just, uh, there you go. This is what I got. All right. Okay. Mary Lou, you all set? Sure. Okay. Money in the bank. Sorry, Mike. And uh, Meredith Village Savings Bank in the checking account, we have $292,91581. In the savings account, $60,052.14, and at profile, every time I take out the ad, $17,011 for a total of $369,979.55. So we have paid one quarter to Wakefield, um, for which I did get a bill and attached it to the check. We have two months of... Uh, the school, high months for the school left. And so we should be, we should be fairly close, but possibly okay. Yep. And we received the schedule for next year? And that may be what I got too. I got a letter from them as well. That doesn't start till July. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have um, turned back to Meredith Philly Savings Bank the signed tax anticipation note as a line of credit. So that form is back to them. So should we need funds in June, we would be able to get them. That's probably. Oh, I contacted the. Um, Primex, um, and told them that we were interested in going with them. No, they had not sent a contract to sign, but they will get one out to us so that we have coverage in place by July 1st for the property and liability insurance. Are they going to bills monthly or quarterly or all front? Annually, typically. Okay. That's what they do. Okay. And... I think that's it for me. Is that, that? The, is that the only other show? Community profile worksheet because it had certain things. Well, is this have. what's on the. Look, you're still chairman. Yeah. This is probably yeah. what's on the state website. Yeah, yeah. So we probably have to update it. They were asking for some budget information. Yeah, yeah. that's why I was asking if that's for you or. Lori. Oh, I can do that, and then give it to Lori. Okay, that works. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll look at it. And I do have checks in one check and bills later. Okay. Thank you. Planning board. The last planning board meeting, I'll make a brief report. The last planning board meeting, there was a preliminary discussion of a lot line adjustment um, for some property between Tumble Down Dick Road and Kingswood Lake. Uh, I believe the public hearing has been scheduled for June 6th, and that will be in the newspaper shortly. That public, the notification of that public hearing and the abutters will be, will be notified. Code enforcement officer, he's not here. He was scheduled to start working on Stoneham. It's been ground. It's, it's, been, to this last it's been leveled and rolled once. Um, coal patch has been put around on several roads and it's still going. So. Okay, good. Thank you. Conservation Commission, nothing this time in a month. Heritage Commission. So the Heritage Commission was uh, met last week and we were <coughs> looking at different options for um, replacing the large chandelier in the townhouse um, as well as 
replacing the sconces on the wall if we're doing the big job. So um, when I submitted our suggest recommendations to the electrician, um, he said we they will look for things, but we probably need to look a little further. But while our choices seem nice, they weren't the highest quality and would not stand up. So we need to um, look further. So I've been looking at websites and um, I may take a trip down to Rockingham. I was going to say Rockingham, I might be the way to go. Yeah, he gave me the webs. The woman there, that's the one of the ladies he deals with, gave me their website as well. But it's all pretty crazy modern stuff. So they have so many catalogs there and stuff. And yeah, that's probably what I'll end up doing. There's one down in Huntington or Portsmouth. Yeah, so field trip. Okay, good. Thank you. So keep you best. Cemetery trustees had a meeting. We didn't get any notes or letters from them. So we'll, we'll see. Do you have a good idea when they're going to start? Mid June, they said. Mid June, okay. Mid June. Good. And I think they worked up their ground rules for use of cemetery. Yes, they they did, yes. Yeah. Did yeah. they put them on the website? That has not been posted yet. We're waiting for one more. Okay. Any other boards or committees that I overlooked? Poll licenses. We have an update on poll licenses. I haven't heard back from Jay. Um, let me let me follow up with Jay because that was before last meeting I contacted Jay, so Jay status. I will do that tomorrow and get back to you guys. Okay. Under new business, we have staffing emergency backup plan. And what that means is that for most of the positions, if not all the positions, we have someone backing up the primary person. So if, we have, if we're in a bind and someone gets hurt or something happens, we know who we can go to for help. A cross train, so somebody can do yeah. it. Yeah. The only position we don't have it on is, let's say, assessment. And tre well, treasurer. Oh, that's where he's going. He's probably more supportive than the treasurer. You know, assessing. That's them. where we're going. But that's <laughs> right. <laughs> well, we did budget Lori. Do we power us to go with Shadow Jessica? That's so right. So we've got. Let's get her maybe working on that. Um, once the, the summer settles down and things get more normal. So I'm good. <laughs> As time permits, whenever they can get going on that, okay. that'd be super. And beside, though, on the treasurer, if something yeah. happened to Mary Lou, we don't know who we would call. And that, that, that's a problem for me, most like all of us. Mm -hmm. So we should have to, we have to, any ideas on who we might be able to contact if you felt ill or on vacation for a month or two on a cruise and we need to? Oh. Um, <laughs> I did speak with um, Amanda Pierce this year during the audit. And if something should happen to me immediately, the, um, she would be willing to step in and at least do the job temporarily. She wouldn't want the job on a regular basis, but she could be handed the computer and some checks and here. Um, if that happened, she would have to step down from being the auditor for that year. So, um, but other than that, I don't have any suggestions. But at least there was a fail safe. Along those lines, <laughs> I think we should buy you a computer, a laptop, and that the town's record should be on that laptop. So we could give that to Amanda if we had to. And then you could bring it here and all our records and what the quick well, She's gone on her trip, she's not going to bring it here. Well, <laughs> then we wouldn't have to get into the house. So I would think that we should, 
I, I think we should provide a laptop to the treasurer for the town records. Back it up. We'll have to have Lance back it up appropriately, but... Currently, it's backed up to the cloud, so it is it, backed up. But it's your laptop. It is my laptop. So it's a mixed bag right now. Heavy sigh, right? Because because there's, there's regulations with 91A that yes. says that if people want to get to your computer to see what's going on, you got to give them your computer. Yep. And then after you're out of office, you have to save all the stuff for seven years. Yes. Even if you're not employed. Yes. Okay. I know. You do that, okay. Yes, and I have the I have all the records from the prior treasurer. So we go back long before two thousand for all the records. So. So so I think we want to have Lance put together a proposal for a, a laptop for the treasurer and our records. You think she could talk to me a little bit about what software we need to license for? Um, well, yeah. Like frickin'. Yeah. And well, then the little cheapy payroll program, which is... We should be able to move those. The, oh, yeah. You, you, you'd be able to move them off? Computer? The license of... Yeah. You know, you it. So it's just... I will have to buy a new version of QuickBooks 15, 16, either next year or the year after. They probably will only let me go one more year without... Well, well, because we didn't budget for this, so it'd be hard. we can stretch a lot of software we can well, actually do. Yeah. A laptop like was four hundred dollars. It's the software that costs money. Tell me what kind of laptop you get. Sure. Well, let's see. I think just let's let Lance make a proposal. Are you mm -hmm. only doing one laptop? No. Why would we need more? Tell me why we need more. I thought we were also looking at one for another position. I want one in there. I want a docking station on top of this, so. Lori can have her ability to bring her work and have everything stored on there. Her computer's not her, but that desktop computer in there is less than lively. Less <coughs> <laughs> than lively? How old is it? It's rather new. It, but it's not one of the new ones. It was, not, it was a refab that Lance put together for us. It, it was one that he skipped intentionally. Because um, he would be the only one using it. Right, and it's not ever used like the assessing right. and the tax collector and so on. See, yeah, I don't... I think in that case, we can use, quote-unquote, the cloud to do all that, all that processing if we network it correctly. Mm -hmm. So you can do it from home on any computer. You could do it here from any computer. And all the data is on the server. <coughs> and then it doesn't matter what machine she uses. What happens so why would that, wouldn't mm -hmm. that fall back to Mary Lou's computer as well? Then if you use that logic, if she can get, if she could get everything on our server, yes, I guess it would work. I don't know if QuickBooks. Yes, typically, yeah. In the past, we've Lance has backed up my computer, and we've brought copies here of my work. So can we go on to another computer in the office and get to the town records? No. I mean, we could load it here. Uh, no, you can't. Quicken doesn't work that quick, way. Quick Quicken doesn't work that way, you're right. But they would stop me. But, but, but and neither does the payroll program. But Lori is using Word and Excel and all these off-the-shelf software that can be right. put on different machines. Mm -hmm. Very little. The application is such that you can't do that. That's the difference between the two, unless they have something that's distributed. Now we'd have to buy a license for more than more than one user. I'm allowed on QuickBooks to put it on my big machine. I do most of my work. Well, I did most of my work, and it will go back to that on the desktop I have, and then the laptops what I would travel with when I came here. So. I would have to buy a multi, a higher multi-user license. No, why don't you think about that? Talk to Lance about what would make okay. sense. I think in Lori's right. case, we we need a new computer, and she has to be able to work from home. Mm -hmm. And that does. I don't think that requires a laptop. That requires some networking. But if okay, why? Go ahead. It's working slow. So why wouldn't you just do a laptop? to speed up things. 
disappointed they're buying the computer, buying the laptop. Problem solved. Other, other than investing in a docking station, everything else is fine. <clears throat> You know, you just want something that works well. <laughs> Silly you. Be convenient. Why don't we ask Lance to take a look at that, make a recommendation. He under, that the problem is we'd have to have some good response time, and you work from home occasionally, frequently. Frequently, yeah. So we have to have access to the records to the files. So it's either file sharing or a laptop. Yeah. Thank you, Marilyn. Sure. And that covers all the positions we know. I think tax collector is good, clerk's good, assessing we will work on, and treasurer is the primary issue. Then three of us are three of us. And okay. So, are you after having. Uh, are you after having the treasurer's files on a computer here at work, here at the office? or the capability to hand someone a computer. So probably whatever would work. The data should be here. The data should be here at all times? Not necessarily, we're on a laptop, so it's backed up. Okay. Preferably be good to have it here, but I don't want to get into multiple licenses. It could be expensive. Yeah, yes, it would be. So then you put it on a laptop and you make the laptop portable and you back that up to our server anyway. All right. And then when we get that squared away, we can talk to Amanda about here it is, here's how it works. If we ever have a problem, this, yeah. is, this is how you... Well, she works the program, so she already knows the program. She just That was access. her advantage. She just needs access. Yeah. So if so. it was password protected, you would make sure she has all passwords and mm -hmm. whatnot. Yeah. So. And then we have to make sure she's on the list for uh, bonding. Yes, your checks happy. and all that type of stuff. So yeah. Good point. Quite the most important point. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> access to it. Okay. Next thing is the Bryce Drive survey monuments. And what I meant by that when I put that on there. I think we should try to wrap up the agreement that we had resolved in the course by putting the monuments into Bryce Drive that reflect that agreement. Um, Did you use the other survey? There's, there's mm -hmm. only, there's there's only one. There's only That's one. That's the one we go by. Okay. So we have to line up a surveyor to do that work. Any survey you can do it, as long as it's following that plan. That's right. <coughs> you want to call it now? Sure. And we'll get a copy of the, the documented agreement. Okay. Which survey are you going with? Ours. Ours. There's only one we agreed to. Okay. Only one. Um, and you're going to get a surveyor to do what? Mark? To mark what we agreed to on Superior Court. But the court said this is this is the plan we're going to agree to. Okay. So we're going to take that document and reflect it in physical monuments, surveying monuments. And Frank Frazier did the the flags on the veterans' graves again. We have to say thank you, Frank. Appreciate it. He got those yeah. got those done. I think he mentioned he's going to need new flags, and he questioned whether we want to authorize him to buy them. It's in the budget this year. So he can either do it now, I meant to email him back, he can either do it now or he can wait. We typically put in... Every other year. Yeah. But I thought it was in this year. So... Are you going to get back to him? I will. Yes, I'm at his convenience to buy him. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any other public comments? New business, I saw. Oh, jeez. New business. That wasn't new. Any other new business? Um, <clears throat> I've had a couple people. Talk about a better light inside the building. Yes, 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 um, yes, yes, yes. The electricians here working. Yes. So we can work on. Yes. So better light where? 
on the side of the building. He on the side, it's open. Yeah. Yeah. The issue is it, does, it takes forever to get on. Mm -hmm. So the suggestion was we put a motion detector on a maybe a timer or something, or just a motion detector initially, see how that works. Mm -hmm. And if that, that became a problem for residents in the area, then put that motion detector also on a timer, so it always active during. The good news is it's pointing that way towards just the salt shed, so it shouldn't bother anybody. And it was motion. I had another thing for the electrician. Um, we had talked about putting a heater under the sink in the kitchen because how long it takes the water I mean, for the water. Oh, oh, you mean like an on-demand? On-demand. Okay. Would that be electric or gas? That would be either. Either. I mean, so it's used so infrequently. I just think of the electricians here, and it went to an electric thing. The plumber had to wire it in, and then the electrician didn't give us the power. Why don't I talk to Losty and see what he says? Make get recommend, yeah. I can get back. Because the electrician is working slow. He was over there again. He's, he, he's, he's making progress. He does it on rainy days. Okay. So, so I, I'm just. Because I know we discussed how yeah, the uh, plant tape yeah. set for how yeah, long it took for the heat to get over there. Ever. And if you're not running it, it turns cold so fast. Right. Yeah, if, if you can get an electric one, but then for reasonable money, it makes sense. You know, the reason they pipe and gas to it and all that other silliness. If you electric would be cheaper. Cheaper. Than a five yeah. gallon. I'm not sure five gallon would be big enough. I'll talk to him. I'll yeah, just talk to him. See what he as long as he's here, I'll also talk to him about the That's what I was thinking of him being here. Because this is the original, it's going to fail soon. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so you're going to talk to him about a light, the on demand, and I don't know what I think. Yeah. yeah. You're going to talk to him later? Yes. And how about, as long as you're on the phone, it's time for propane bids. Okay. We can lock that up next month. Any other new business? I'm going to go out to different companies. Sure, a couple. Mm -hmm. yeah. We know how many, how much we used last year now. I found the slip and the sitting home on the well, we, to see how many gallons we but, used. But you can, yeah, I'll ask them as well at the point now. Anything else, Bill or Brian? I'm good, thank you. Okay. okay. Any public comments? Yes, Diane. Um, might we adjust the time clock in here? The, uh, the clock, it seems to be five minutes fast and I keep showing up late for meetings. <laughs> we try to start on Verizon time. It was, my Verizon time is five minutes slower than that. It's five minutes faster, right? All right, we'll try to, Thank you. We'll try to make that adjustment. <laughs> Take that clock down, it's wrong. <laughs> you want to grab it? <laughs> Spin that down. Could be the batteries again. Well, no, we'd be going slow, the batteries slow. And I have a note from Virginia, the town clerk, she wants to know where we're holding the elections this September and November. Because she has to post something advertising where the elections will be held, whether they're going to be here or whether they're going to be next door. Will the electrician be done? Oh, yes. Have we done it by old home day? And I think Rich had a good idea when I, when I said, well... Yeah, I think it was the whole day over there. Well, well, what I was saying, so we don't have to rush it, let's just leave it here, but... September is a pretty mild election. It's not presidential. Maybe a good dry run over there. Right. So if we have any issues we have to deal with, just deal with them. Yeah, trafficking or whatever. We have to sure. deal with there. So would you hold it in the front or the back? I see. Well, we have to have access for handicapped. So we come in the back and vote in the front. Okay. And then I see you have the coffee in the back. So when people are on the way out, they like to chat. They can sit there and chat and keep the noise down out front. Sure. Sure. That's right, yeah. That yeah. All right, I'll get back to Virginia. Virginia. Yep. Yeah. Anything else? Then we're going to do bills and maybe some mails. What do we have for mail? We have. What can we have? Let's hit the. Oh, wait, wait, we have a. 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 Oh, we have a, we have a we've got a code enforcement officer and a road agent. Would you like to comment on road work? Sure. Um, we weren't late tonight, sun came out, forgot what time it was, but uh, we ground the road on stone. And I regraded it again today, trying to bring back the shape that it should be. Um, <clears throat> I have, uh, um, because I had to do that, I, I didn't finish the spring grading, but I expect between tomorrow, tomorrow and Thursday, this week I'll finish the grading 
and we're starting to put down the calcium uh, dust control starting tomorrow. And we um, fix potholes on Branch Drive, the end of that light, the paved apron on Lyford and Moose Mountain. In Pikebrook. In some of them, yeah. Oh, yeah. Trying to give you credit, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's checking, you were driving around. Oh, I told you. <laughs> That's a sign, puddled inspector. See if you're there. Okay, and the code enforcement. Uh, just a lot of questions right now. With all, some ongoing projects, some some people are um, you know asking about projects coming up. I had a, even a phone call today about a project on the backside of the lake. Just w wanting to know a reminder of the procedures and things like that. Um, I did deny um, one permit and sent it, and it gets sent off. The recommendation is to go see the ZBA, and other than that, it's been pretty busy, but nothing, nothing solidified into permits yet. I saw you move some some curbing out there. Curbing, and we put yeah, uh, put the line of curbs out, put some loam behind it, and I brought that line over to the maintenance shed. And then we have a little bit more gravel to add now that, that we've been through a freeze-thaw cycle with that new propane tank. We have to fill that in a little bit. And should we have a, a bigger abutment in front of it? Um, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to need that or not. But when I get it dressed up, we'll look into that. If we have to, we'll, we'll replace one of those curb stops with a... Jersey barrier. Yeah, well, uh, waste whatever. block or whatever. Whatever we have a nice. We, if we have a nice looking what they call a waste block, I'll use that because okay. we own those. We don't own any Jersey barriers. Okay. So. And before we go on, I wanted to thank Nick Robichaud uh -huh. for help cutting the grass. Got a call from Kate, the woman that's been taking care of it. She's ill, so she couldn't get to the lawn, and it was Nick, right? It was Nick. Nick. I, I helped him a little bit, but it was Nick. It was Nick. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian and Nick, for getting yeah, the grass cut. Good. That looks good. Good. It does look good. Yeah, we needed this job. Yeah, she did. Yeah. I Thanks talked for... to Kate today. She said she's feeling better. She's on new medication for the um, dizziness and stuff that she has. So I told her you had purchased the um, mulch. And <laughs> it was ready for her to start doing gardening stuff. stuff, yes. At least we have the grass cut, so hope she's feeling better. I'll, I'll keep after her. She's got to feel better. When she's ready, yeah. Okay, let's see. Well, any other mail? Um, we got the tax warrant to sign. We have here. a lot of things to sign, yes. Wow, uh, let's get the tax warrant. Yeah, we get that to Ms. Peckham. We get to notarize these. No, that's one does not need to be notarized. But the other ones we do, no, you bring your stuff? You should have yeah. stuff at the fair. Let me know if there's any other ones that said that's the sign of the fair. We've got my message. Um, assessing Avatar has given us a recommendation. Mm -hmm. On 85.8 acres on Moose Mountain Road, the total assessed value of 405,100. The owners have applied for an 80 acre land to be in the current use. Per the 40 acres will be unchanged due to the mixed tree types. 20 acres will remain unmanaged. White pine and 20 acres of unmanaged hardwood. The remaining 5.8 acres will not be in current use as it has an access road, small area for a house or home around it. As for reviewing the application, the provided map that shows where uh, each of these areas is located, I would recommend that we approve this application. I provided the property record card. The new current use for the assessed value would be uh, $299,242. So I will make a motion that we accept the assessing uh, recommendation on the current use for 41 Moose Mountain Road. Okay, I'll second that. Roll of favor? Aye. 
Let's stay in the plane. File from last year in protein based food and there's a file somewhere in the show the same name how long ago now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know we went around these white map. Just to make sure. That's in the notes. I'm sure it's in the notes. Do you know what month that was? We were on this time. Was it two years ago? There's no other mail, right? There was no well, we got the we got the book from uh, the municipal municipal association knowing the territory for this year. Gives overview of the current laws that might be impacting the town. So we'll have that filed in the selectman's office. Can I use your blackboard instead of using the So we'll sign the tax collector's deed. And the mayor doesn't look around. Now, Diane, we signed these twice, right? We signed the top and bottom? Correct, because I'm going to cut them into two and get these guys. Okie dokie. Copy of your file. If you have a file. Or, yeah. Just three things? Just three things to sign? Diane? The two oh. abatements and the, and the deed, yes. Okay. And then I need the two assessing things. So and good. The warrant. Do we have a warrant to sign? I thought you already had. You don't get warrants from me. No, you have the warrant from Jessica. You just signed that. I think you've already signed that. You were talking about it earlier. Somebody signed it. Yeah, no, Brian right. did. It went that way. Today? It's just now. You think so, huh? Right. That's not it. We're getting a crumple up. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> there it is. There it is. You signed it either. <laughs> Yeah, so give her all these, these are all the best yeah. No, 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 give me that. The one of the bands goes back to the And you're going to have to notarize these. The other thing we had in the mail was from the state of New Hampshire Department of Safety Division of Motor Vehicles. And they did an audit of the town clerk and the motor vehicle process, and, and that passed. So we can continue to register our vehicles here. Excellent. Hey, did you have something else? Uh, no. I thought it was a mistake. Okay. We have some bills to sign, some checks to sign. Did you sign the deed yet? Yep. Yeah, I messed up my signature because I've been messed up on me, but that's all right. I initialed it after. Have to be notarized, I guess. So is that what you meant by that email? That you wanted put, so. that page? Yeah, do the do the thirty there. though. Needs to be notarized too. Okay. Not those. Okay. And that's coming to me, so I have to take that now. I don't see the time card for 
the code enforcement officer assistant. Yes, you see that. You see that at the first of the month, like right after the first of the month. Two different time periods. I need to sign that first. So I saw there was topsoil being moved. You're bringing that down here from the. Uh, no, make it no. We just consolidated this little pile, that little pile we had back there, so I can start bringing in the shoulder and material. Is that okay? We're going to be pulling that out next month. Okay, I know. You know, I, I just got it forward in the big pile. And kind of got it out of my way. So I think the twenty. This one says this is your receipt. I don't know what they're doing up there. I, I keep getting I these two. two. So this is what Jessica printed for me. Yeah, and then I got this, this one in my box. That's because they keep coming. And nobody knows what to do with them. What are they for, Brian? See, that one says it's a receipt. Yeah. And this, this one says right. it's a bill. The they're they're invoices from Carroll County Registry of Deeds. Um, one's a bill, one is just a receipt. Um, receipt's a receipt, I'm not paying a receipt. Paying a so we're only going to be paying $50, right? What's that for? This is a. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it is an, it's another statement from Carroll County Registry of Deeds. Brian E. Bell to the town of, Rook, of Brookfield. Um, it is a tax L. A what? A tax, tax lien. Lien, I assume. Okay. That is all the lien. The only so reason that name is lien. on there is because it's the first one on it. So they're just registering the lien notice. They went online up there. That's all yes. Are and they planning to build the towns for the access? Hmm? No, not that I know. And all the lawyers those, are paying, or the people who want, I needed, I think, uh, all 500 subscribers or something. That's excellent for a thousand. I think the town should, in the county, should go past. That's my not fixing. Yeah. yeah. We put it on there, though. Okay, um, I think there's an update. I think there's an update. I mean, the speed that is done. Yeah. Who? Going to file it. Need to go up to the county? Yeah. So, you don't want to go up to the county anytime soon? Through a <coughs> file? Yeah, just to be filed. Uh, I could possibly go tomorrow. Okay. okay, but let me make a couple copies of it first, okay. and then this so original one is one that has to be taken out. And it's good that Bill's taken it up because he's the only one that signed it in blue and I don't know what they're going to say about it being signed in blue, but we won't say a word. They usually prefer blue because they know it's See, not it used a to be. Copy. It used to be that you could Everything had to be signed See, I was ahead of my but Forget the computers. <laughs> my understanding is the they almost <laughs> prefer blue. <laughs> when I did my you can tell it's an original plan. You can tell it's not a original plan. Well, it makes sense, but I know I think it's right. more that's right. across the board. Yeah, it's what I've heard. Yeah, but I did mortgages and they were like yeah. absolute about the little. That's everything for you signing. Sure. Before I no, what? What, what, what? No, 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 no. Something totally different. No. Nope. This is fine. Any other comments? Meetings adjourned. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking of the uh, top of the county.